Welcome to the show. I'm Jessica Shaw. I'm Torre. And this is Binge Worthy. We tell you what to binge. What to delete. Performance of the week goes to Luna Blaze on Fresh Off the Boat for her sweet performance as Eddie's friend Nicole coming out to her father, Jessica, and Honey. I got it! I got the ball! Lua! Just throw it! I can't! I know I can't throw it! Roll it! Just roll it! I thought you were mad at me. No, I was mad at myself. I made that dumb joke about not wanting you to play in their team. I didn't even really mean that. It was just a pun, and it was sitting right there. I, I could not say it. But that pun in no way reflects my values or my opinions about you. I tried to tell you a bunch of times. I was just worried you'd see me differently. Oh, you'll always be my princess. You're out. Oh. Thanks, Dad. Every story where there's someone coming out, I I, I root for them and yeah. I applaud. And this yeah. was this was very sweet. I mean, I have to say though, when she's like playing softball on a team run by a lesbian bar, I'm not sure why anyone was confused by it. <laughs> but it was a very sweet episode and it was a lovely performance by uh, her. Dad, I've been trying to tell you. Why didn't you tell well, I am playing on the lesbian bar? <laughs> Softball team, what did you think I was doing? Um, no, it's you know it's great to see these moments where people are coming out and they're accepted and loved, and even where the stepmother character embraces her right away. Right. The father seems to struggle with it a little bit, but just just a little bit. And then a moment later, he's like, "I'm all in. I love you." Even though I know. He's still and then I was like, the "I'm game. gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry." Even though he's still playing the game and tags her out, so the man can never let the game go. I'm not gonna. Stop the competition, but I do love you personally. Yes. Um, so I'm, I, you know, I mean, I'm thrilled to see that. I'm thrilled to see that in 2017 on a normal national network comedy. Yeah. That the default has to be that the parents are accepting of them coming out. Yeah. Rather than running away or being rejected or it being sort of this like thing we're never going to talk about again. Um, you know, it shows that we've come a long way. Absolutely. I mean, you think about, you know, back in the day where it was like on a show like Melrose Place, which was an, a, you know, an adult show on later in the evening. And it was like, oh, Matt, don't ever show a kiss. Yeah. You can't show two guys kissing. And yeah. now we have a lovely family sitcom, you know, on in, in the family hour. Yeah. And there's a girl coming out and her stepmom is, is just gives her a hug. And those are those are important and, moments and in our culture. And there's a. And there's a big difference between portraying a teenager who's really coming to grips with this themselves right. and learning who they are and then expressing it rather than somebody who's older and perhaps like, it's taking you all this time? Like, well, you know what I mean? It becomes almost yeah. pathological. Like, why didn't you figure this out before? Like, right. this young person is making a positive, effective decision right. at a critical moment in her life. Yes, I will say, I long for the day where we have the sitcom where there doesn't, or the drama where we don't need the reaction shot. Right. Where we don't need the reaction shot of, oh, right. of someone right. in the background being like, you're gay, right. and that time is coming. It may not be here right now, <laughs> On ABC on Fresh <laughs> Off the Boat, but that but time coming. is coming, and and all every plot, every storyline like this is 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 paving is putting another brick down in that path.